Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am filming a little day in the life video. We are down in Brighton, we're still staying with friends because we haven't yet completed it on our house. And um, this is actually Rory's uh, football top that he's wearing to school today because I packed the wrong jumper for him. So Jamie's got three jumpers and Rory's got none. So bless him. But I've also forgot my makeup, so I've borrowed my friend's makeup. This is what happens when you just live out of a bag, really. Um, but yeah, so Chris and I are going boxing this morning. We're going to this gym called Underground Gym and they have a boxing session. We went last Monday and we absolutely loved it. I'm not like one that loves going to a gym, but I really, really enjoyed this. And then I went to the gym again on Friday with my friend and she PT'd me and I loved it again so we're going this morning I have brought my own boxing gloves and then we're going to come back to my friend's house where we're staying and do some work so yeah I thought I'd just take you along for the day with us and show you what we get up to on our first few days in Brighton Right, we've just finished our boxing session. I've got a, um, this is chocolate and toffee, um, what's it called, protein, protein shake. shake. Are you trying to get out of the camera? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, I'm not a sweaty person, but I don't know if you can see, I think it's like dried up a little bit, but I was sweating so much in that. It's really, really good. I'm not, like I said, a massive gym goer. But this is my second week there and I've really enjoyed it. So if you're in Brighton, you haven't been to underground, underground gym, go to Charlie's sessions because they're really, really good and they're really funny. Anyway, I've got to go back now and have a shower. We're going to actually just pop to the house quickly because I think the fence has started today. So we're going to go over and have a look at it. So I'll show you our garden and then I'm going to go and have a shower because it stink. Wait, Chris and I just walked into the car and he just wants to show you. Look at that sweat. Oh, that is oh actually God. disgusting. No way. I swear on my life he has not put that, that under. Look sweat. at all that. That is just sweat. That's actually disgusting. That is so bad. That is so gross. So but that is honestly how hard that class is. But it's fun at the same time, so it's really hard. But you don't realise how hard it is because you are just having such a good time at the same time. Everyone's so friendly with each other. And um, yeah. It's just lovely, can't wait for next week now. Oh, wrong side of the car. Right, we're off to the house now. Well, we're at the house now, so look, they've just taken all of these trees down so they can fit the fence in. So if you can see, um, there you can go straight into the neighbor's garden and obviously Lulu would go and have a field day over there. She would go exploring. So they are taking down some of the trees here and then they're gonna replace all of those fences there. So that's where they kind of the kind of old ones are they're all going and we're going to get all fresh new fencing all the way down that side of the garden that's actually the neighbor's side that they should um, be responsible for but we thought if we just did it we can get the nice side of the fence um, and not the back side of the fence so that's why we're doing it so yeah he said tomorrow this will be done so see where it ends that will all get sorted out can't believe we're going to move into this house in Oh, actually, when this comes on, it'll be tomorrow we'll be moving in. Ooh. So we've just left the house, like, so it's completely empty now because the people we're buying from have moved out. So we were looking through the back window and we were deciding where we think our furniture's all going to go. Um, yeah, it's really exciting. The guy, the fencer was like, oh, what a lovely house you've got. So it just made everything feel a lot more real. And I think because we've been staying with friends for so long, we... Um, We've kind of been, you know, when I feel like the boys and us will be much more settled here once we have our own space. So it kind of got me excited for that and now I just can't wait to move. So yeah, like I said, we'll be moving tomorrow when you watch this video um, and I just can't believe it. So it like, I'd say at like one o'clock, we'll be in that house unpacking all of our stuff. 
I've just made a really nice tuna salad. So I've got half a tin of tuna, I've got some rice and bulgur wheat, and then I've got leaves, tomatoes, and peppers as well. Mm. Right, I'm all showered, and I just had to have a lay down because I don't really know what's wrong with me, but my stomach has felt like for probably the last two weeks, like really sore all the time. I'll wake up and it's like kind of sore straight away, like it feels really bloated, but then I don't really know what it is. It kind of feels like, you know when you have trapped wind and you get like sharp stabbing pains? It kind of feels like that, but I've had it for two weeks now and I don't know what is going on. And literally my stomach is so bloated all the time. Like I know different times of the month, my like stomach will be at different, you know, sometimes I'll be bloated, sometimes I'll not, but mine it just seems like it's like this all the time and I don't know what's going on and my tummy is just so painful. So I just had a little lay down and now I'm awake and I'm having a hot water and some apple soup would help. And we're gonna go and get the kids now as well from school. Back from school run and Wilts is making some potato wedges. Wow, that's a massive guy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, we're having wedges and then in here, I made this yesterday. So this is rice on top, doesn't look very appealing at the moment, but it's lentil and bean chili. It's so nice. So we're just gonna warm that through and then you put a dollop of yogurt on top. And I bought some wraps for the kids so they can wrap theirs up with some cheese on top and then wedges on the side. And then for the adults, they can either have a wrap or they can just have it like this. And it's so, so tasty. So yeah, um, that's what we're having for dinner. Okay, so we've now had dinner and the two boys have gone to football training with Chris and I'm here with my friend's little girl. She's got two girls, I've got two boys, obviously. So this is the difference between boys and girls, okay? I have just spent the last hour and a half sewing this little bag. How cute is this? So it comes in this little kit here and we've just been making it. It's good, isn't it, Loon? So this is Luna's new handbag, but the trouble is, as you can see, we've lost the other ear. We can't find the other pink ear because there's a lot of stuff going on here because Lena is over there and she is, show us your sewing. I'm she's, knitting. She's knitting an Owl? Are you doing the owl? No, you're doing the, the cat. cat. I'm doing the cat. So she's been doing that. I'm going to show the owl next year. But she's been doing that for about an hour and a half. And can you just show us how much you've done? That's what she's done. And she's literally non stop. So yeah, this is a really cute little bag. I had to do it twice because at first I didn't realize it had this like this kind of bit that you had to put through the middle of the bag. Um, so I just sewed the front and back together without adding the kind of um, puffer outer and had to redo it. So yeah, difference between having boys and girls. I was just reading this book about dinosaurs. Luna is the dinosaur queen. She knows absolutely everything there is to know about dinosaurs. Um, Luna, let me ask you a dinosaur question. What is it? What is the fastest dinosaur on the planet when it, you know, back in the day? One of the And how fast was it? 60 kilometers an hour. 60 kilometers an hour. She actually went on Heart Radio not so long ago when they do uh, My Little Show Off and her, oh, home. her skill was knowing everything there was to know about dinosaurs. Anyway, Jamie's home, we're gonna get him ready for bed and then, um, yeah, get him to bed, so I'll be back later. Right, the night has ended, coming up to bed. going into our room. We've packed up all our stuff, ready to go tomorrow. I'm so tired, still got tummy pains, but hopefully once I go to sleep, um, I'll feel a bit better in the morning. So thanks so much for watching today, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I feel like I've had a really action-packed day. So it's been a really good day, I've really enjoyed it. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time, bye.